Hello guys and welcome to the zone of tech, this is Daniel and uh, in this video I am going to make a huge 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 announcement. Now can you guess what this announcement is? Well you probably can from the title. So as you can see from this really awesome image, this video is going to be about the Apple iWatch. Uh, but before I start talking, all I want to say is that in the previous video, which was the iOS 6.1 until the jailbreak, uh, so if you haven't seen that video, please uh, check uh, check it out. So in that video, I asked you guys a question, which was, what iOS device have you jailbroken using this video? And this is what you guys replied. So congratulations, Andreas54322. You are featured in the comments again. Uh, and you said, thanks, I jailbroke my iPad 2. Then uh, Chipanier said that he had jailbroken his iPhone 4S. Okay, then my Wooden Thomas said that I have jailbroken my iPhone 3G, wish to jailbreak my iPhone 5, and that's why I watched uh, this video. And finally, must have V8 posted uh, <laughs> the funniest comment, everything, because I'm a hacker. Yep, nothing. <laughs> So uh, thank you all for answering the question of the video. Now, if you want to get uh, your comment into my next video, all you have to do is answer the question of the video, which uh, will be asked by me at the end of this video. So uh, stay tuned for that. But for now, let's, uh, let's take a look at the Apple's iWatch. So as you probably know, back in 2010, Apple released uh, the 6th generation iPod Nano, which looks something like this. Uh, now the iPod Nano was the first generation uh, multi-touch iPod Nano, which was uh, small enough to be used as a watch. So uh, because of this, a lot of wristbands appeared for the iPod Nano 6th generation, as you can see from the images. Uh, but those were not official. Uh, so this year, I mean last year in 2012, Apple decided to uh, release a new iPod Nano, 7th uh, generation iPod Nano, which totally, which looks totally different from the old model. So why did Apple kill the iPod Nano watch? Well, maybe because they are going to release an iWatch. So is this iWatch official? Is it confirmed? Well, it's not confirmed yet, but uh, a lot of rumors have been uh, coming up recently. So websites like uh, Engadget or uh, The Verge or 9to5Mac, Mac Rumors, uh, and so on and so forth posted leaks from uh, Apple which indicates that an iWatch is being built, is being tested, and to be honest, some people actually reported uh, that they saw the Apple iWatch being tested in, uh, in the Apple campus back in Cupertino. Okay, so what do we know about the iWatch so far? Well, we know that it is going to be called the iWatch. Now, this is not confirmed, the name is not confirmed, but uh, it's the most plausible name for it. Also, we, uh, we know that it's going to have a 2.5 or a 3-inch OLED, so OLED curved display. Uh, it's going to have a home button, most probably, like the iPod Nano 7 generation. It's going to be 100% waterproof, yay, which means that you can go to the swimming pool uh, with this iWatch. Now besides uh, being waterproof, it's most probably going to have Bluetooth 4.0. I mean, th this is this is like a no-brainer. Like, you know, the iPhone 4S was the first device in the world to uh, feature Bluetooth 4.0. Now Bluetooth 4.0 uh, consumes almost no energy at all. I mean, the amount of energy consumed uh, by the Bluetooth 4.0 is almost equal to zero. Okay, so besides uh, the Bluetooth 4.0, it's going to charge itself uh, via wireless charging, which is something uh, that Nokia 920 has or the Nexus 4. So, um, you know, it's a cool thing. And to be honest, I don't see any way of charging this device besides wireless charging if uh, it's going to be 100% waterproof. So it's not going to have any ports at all. Uh, now, taking a look at the wristbands, yes, it's going to have changeable wristbands, which is nice because, you know, if they break, you should be able to change them and not uh, not buy a new watch instead. It may have a gyroscope, I'm not sure about this. Again, this is not confirmed, so I have no idea what to say about the gyroscope. So, uh, besides this, it is going to have a pulse meter, 
So you can uh, check your pulse, measure your pulse using this iWatch, uh, which is a really useful feature. Also, it may run a version of uh, the iPad Nano 7 generation operating system, which is a lot similar to iOS. It's not actually iOS, uh, but you have those rounded icons, which uh, you can click, you can move around, you can wiggle, you can change to pages and stuff like that. So it's a lot like iOS. Uh, if you don't know how that uh, that's like, just check it out on YouTube. Now, besides that, it's most probably going to have Siri, so you can talk with the iWatch. Uh, maybe, again, I'm not sure about this, third-party apps. Maybe it's not going to have apps at the beginning, but uh, later on it might have some apps. And again, it will, this is 100% confirmed, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's, um, it's going to connect with your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, uh, maybe even iPods, wireless, using Bluetooth. So you can check your weather, uh, you know, view the notifications, access the email, and uh, and stuff like that. So again, this is how it might look. So uh, a 2.5 or a 3-inch uh, multi-touch, probably retina display. Now it will most probably come uh, in black and white or black and silver. Uh, so this uh, this is a rendering of the black model. And this one is a rendering of the silver or white model. Now, uh, you know, some of you ask me on Twitter if the iWatch might come in green or blue or yellow or, you know, colors like that. I'm not sure about this because, you know, the top-end devices that Apple sells, such as the iPhone, the iPad, the iPad Mini, they only come in uh, black and white. So only the iPod Nanos come in, you know, a billion colors. And yes, <laughs> no, this is not an unboxing. Uh, I know you, you want to see this, but... You know, this is the box, this is probably, this is a rendering of the box. This is how the box might uh, might look like. So again, it's going to, it's most probably going to be a square box, like, uh, you know, like an iPhone box, so to say, like an iPad box. So I don't think it's going to be a transparent box, like uh, the iPod Nanos have, or the iPod Touches. Uh, so it's most probably going to be something like this. Okay, so this was basically it. This was all the information uh, I have for the Apple's iWatch. Now, I have no idea about the pricing and the release date. The release date might actually be 2013, but, you know, it might postpone to 2014. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, please subscribe to my channel because by doing this, uh, you motivate me on producing more uh, more videos for you guys. So. Again, thank you for watching and please subscribe. And now the question of the video. So the question of the video for this video is what do you think the uh, the Apple, the Apple's iWatch is going to be and look like? Uh, so tell me what you think below in the comment section below and your comment will be posted in the next video. So again, thank you for watching this. Be sure to uh, share this video via Facebook and Twitter and also check me out on Facebook. Uh, give me a like on my Facebook page at Zone of Tech and follow me on Twitter. So this was basically it and, you know, as always, cheers.